Hey guys, good morning. Travis with Everglades here. And today we're gonna talk about daily operation checks on a John Deere 5075E. All right, so what's a daily operation check? So John Deere considers every eight hours to be a day, right? So this is something that you need to do every eight hours of operations. Let's go ahead and take a walk around this tractor. So what we're doing, is we're just kind of looking at the overall condition of the tractor. We're checking for any leaks, any damaged body panels, frayed wires, anything that's out of the ordinary we're gonna be looking at. Just kind of looking at the overall condition. It's also a good idea to walk around your equipment before you start it. Make sure there's no animals underneath it, anything else. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to check is to make sure the seat belt inside the cab is intact. It's just right here, we're gonna check it. Make sure it's not frayed, ripped, torn, anything like that. Make sure it can keep you secure inside the cab. Next thing we're gonna do is check our cabin AC filters. Now this only obviously applies to machines that have enclosed cabs. So you got one here and the other one is on the other side of the cab in a similar compartment. I can show you that when, when we get to the other side. The next thing you're gonna check is you're gonna look at your tires and this is kind of just as you go around the machine, but you're gonna look at your tires, make sure you're gonna check the pressure here, make sure they're properly inflated, make sure there's no nails or any kind of debris or abrasion anywhere on the tires or anything like that you need to keep an eye on. Let's move to the back of the tractor here. You're gonna to wanna to lubricate your rear axle too. This is very important on all tractors, all right? So check right there. You see that grease zerk? Yep, so you got one of those on each side of the axle so there and there the next thing you're going to want to do is check your hydraulic fluid level which is right here you see the sight glass see how the full you can see oil right there so you're good so if you don't see oil in here in the full that means you've got to add hydraulic fluid here's the other ac filter up here um, the other thing to keep in mind as we go around the tractor is just make sure that all of our lights are uh, operational. You can go in the cab and set your hazard lights and then walk around and make sure they're all functioning. You also want to check your engine oil, which is right here, this dipstick. To check the rest of the stuff underneath the hood, we're going to go ahead and pop the hood with this guy right here. So you're going to want to check, this is your coolant tank here. You want to make sure that it's within spec for your coolant. Then you want to look at your cooling package here to make sure there's no dust, debris, anything built up here. Now, these screens can come out. See, and we can get like an air compressor or something and just blow all those out. This one comes out as well, and we can keep those clean. So if you're running a bush hog a lot all day or cutting hay or something with dry uh, material, you wanna make sure you keep that clean. You also want to check your dust unloader valve, which is located right here. You just wanna kinda of squeeze this, see if any dust and debris falls out, just so you can keep your air filter clean. All right, so you also wanna check your front axle pivot pins for lubrication, which you do that right here. There's also one in the back. And as long as you're down here, you're also gonna to wanna to lubricate here. And there's one on the other side you gotta hit, hit as well. All right, so you're also gonna to wanna to check the fuel level of your tractor. Best way to do it, just turn your ignition key to run your gauges are gonna sweep and it's gonna land where it is. So right there, you can see we do need to add fuel in this tractor. As long as you're here, it's a good idea to check all your uh, interior windows, side windows, make sure they're clean and you can see out of them. If not, hey, just you know, hit it with some Windex, wipe it down, make sure you can see what you're doing. All right, now like we talked about, this tractor does need some fuel. So where do you put the fuel? You put it right here in this green cap where it says diesel. This is where you put your fuel. Now, at the back of the tractor, you have, this is your windshield washer fill right here under this blue cap. So this is where you would add your washer fluid. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, share, subscribe. By the way, if you need any parts, service, or advice, be sure to contact your local Everglades dealer. We'd be happy to help you out.